There was a beautiful princess named Dianira in the kingdom of Caledon. Her overwhelming beauty attracted countless suitors. Among them was Achelus, a river god and bearer of the gift of metamorphosis. He assumed the form of strange beings before the princess, but she was horrified and feared sharing her bed with hideous creatures. She begged her father not to allow the marriage, but King Onius did not want to go against a god. But Hercules came along. He had heard about the princess's beauty and wished to marry again after the tragedy that happened to his first family. For this, he would have to get rid of the other suitor. Achelous did not want to give up the princess without a fight, and the king did not intend to displease either of the two illustrious visitors. It took a contest between Hercules and the river god to see who would marry Dianira. Achelous took the form of a powerful, bovine-looking monster to intimidate the hero. But Hercules had already faced all kinds of monsters and was not afraid of just one more. The god attacked Hercules with his horns, showing great strength, crushing the hero against a pillar. But the son of Zeus softened the brutal blow and began to counterattack. The two combatants measured forces, and Achelous could not believe the demigod's might. Hercules threw his opponent to the ground and forced him to submit and accept defeat. Once more victorious, Hercules received the hand of the beautiful Deanira from her father. With his new wife, Hercules was happy and had a son named Helus. But retirement had not yet come for Hercules, and he headed for new adventures. Deanira quickly learned of the furtive affairs the hero had while traveling the world. One day, while Hercules was traveling with his wife, he came upon a flowing river. On the bank was the centaur Nessus. He said that he had been given the prerogative by the gods to collect money from travelers who wanted to cross the river. Hercules was God-fearing and allowed the centaur to ferry his wife, paying the centaur the amount due. But when Nessus was halfway across, he was lured by the princess's beauty and tried to seduce her. In desperation, Deanira cried out to Hercules for help. Hercules drew one of his arrows poisoned with the blood of the Lernaean Hydra. It was a difficult shot, as the hero ran a huge risk of accidentally hitting his wife. Hercules aimed very carefully. Hercules' shot was perfect. The arrow traveled a great distance until it hit the centaur's back, with the tip piercing the belly. The centaur toppled over and agonizing, asked Deanira to come closer, for he wished to apologize and redeem himself. He handed her a vial of blood from the wound inflicted by Hercules, and said that if that potion was secretly offered to the hero, he would never be interested in another woman but Deanira. The couple left the dying centaur behind, but Nessus's words did not leave Deanira's mind. And even dead, the centaur achieved his revenge.